Hello there, I'm David Morris. In 2003, I went over to America and I won the title of World Champion Whistler. And I'm here today to hopefully help you improve your whistling. How to whistle without fingers. For those finger whistlers, uh, you might want to try the other technique, the, te the technique which I normally use, that is called pucker whistling, where you pucker the lips, you form an O shape with the lips and, uh, and then blow through that O shape and uh, hopefully get the, vib the vibration through the aperture which creates the note. I think it's, a, it's good to try both techniques um, and if you are a, a regular uh, whistler using your fingers, try the, the pucker technique. Um, I think it really does um, make for uh, a sweeter sound, uh, whereas the using the fingers uh, is, um, is, is louder and a, a, probably a bit more aggressive. Uh, but but uh, to use the, uh, the pucker technique, like I do, uh, it makes for a, a sweeter sound, I think. For example, something like that. I think using the fingers uh, or limits the um, the repertoire as well. Uh, for example, there's no way you could perform something like um, flat of the bumblebee, for example, using your fingers. It's got to be done this way. Something like that. That won't work um, with the fingers because because the tongue has to has to waggle in in the mouth. So, for example, <laughs> no, sorry, it's, it's a no goer. And that's how to whistle without fingers. <laughs>